have no idea as I'm doing my video. Quite air ambulance. Anyway, welcome. This is a quick video I'm going to put together just to show you some of the bits and bobs on the Model 3 that I've purchased here. Now, some of it you might not like. Some of it you might think, how childish. And I don't care. I like the tech. I like the childness. So, you know, the childish attitude towards the tech that Mr. Musk has developed with this thing. I also like the tech that is very serious as regards the battery pack and everything else and the better this and the better that for 2022 so let's do it let's put a quickie together of 10 to 15 minutes on this Tesla Model 3 Welcome to the continuation regarding this Tesla 3. Always wanted one. Now I've got it. Da da. Um, stone chips already. That's why I don't like bikes anymore. Too loud, one person, all that noise no reason for it let's move on anyway welcome back to the vlog regarding the Tesla Model 3 found a few bits and bobs that I didn't see listen one person one bike load of noise can even smell the two-stroke that's 100 meters away crazy Anyway, we'll try and continue again. So yes, let's continue with the Tesla 3. We will get there eventually, folks, when and if. So there are some quirky things about this, um, and, and even I didn't realize that they ha it had. Um, and we'll cross that bridge as we do the review over maybe two videos, or two posts that I'm gonna do. This first post is just to say, you know, I've got it, and some very basics about it and why I bought it. The first major reason why I wanted a 2022 model, for example, and excuse the messy hat, it's gone discolored, it's an old one, it was bought by my boy. Look, I've got two more on order. Um, just let you know, in case it looks a bit scruffy. The main reason why I wanted this particular model, the 2022 version of the Model 3, was so I could have it fully equipped um, with, with things that the, the 19 to 21 model simply didn't have as options. And if you wanted them, you paid for them heavily, if you could get them. I'll play you a bit of the light show that you get from this. Now, it, it's a Tesla thing. Probably you've seen it before, I don't know. If you haven't, then it, it, you know, it's a first, it's a first. And I bought it to you. I'll give you some of the light show, all right? I'll go and turn everything down, so bear with me. Not only will it be the lights, the, the trunk will come up and the mirrors will go in and the, the glass go, you'll see. That's not it, that's just me getting in. Bear with me. Now, as soon as I shut this door, it's gonna do its thing. I've turned, them, I've turned it down. I have actually turned it down to its default because it, it is quite loud. So I hope this Mike, I hope this mic uh, catches it. There's the bump.
it does look better in the dark obviously and you can have it as loud as you want this is quite low you want to disturb anybody the glass has come down now as you can see On the dash it's so showing you what it's doing as well with the lights and everything else. Mirrors are in and out as well. She's doing a dance at the back here. Now the music stopped and everything will close. Windows, trunk, and there you go. That's the Tesla light show. Weird as it is, the car does it all on its own. It's all preset. Why did Tesla do such a thing? Maybe just to show you the tech that it potentially has gotten what it could do. No one knows, folks, why Elon decided to put the light show on the Tesla. It has and does other things. Let me show you something else as well while we're out here. This is this is like childish, but it's great. I love childish stuff. What? Right, gonna go back in. Hello. Can you hear me? This is my voice through the megaphone. Hello. It also can play music. Say we're sorry. It'll still be two days till we say we're sorry. You can set that to be your horn. So it will play on the horn. And you can play it, you can set it to default and god knows what. All done on the big touch screen, very, very easy, but that's the megaphone and that's the light show and Oh, there is one other thing. I'll see if I can do it on the megaphone. Bear with me. Bad enough of that. Bad enough of that. It's basically fart noises. I know, very childish. Great for the kids if you've got kids with you. It's something else to take their mind off a charging session for 10 or 15 minutes, I guess. But that, that some of the silliness. Let me just bring this back up here now. Oh, Save my back, I ain't gonna be bending down. Um, so that's some of the little things that it's got built into the software. Obviously, when you're charging, there is also for $9.99 a month, you can have it set on the screen so you can play games. It comes with a lot of free, simple games anyway. Solitaire and all that malarkey. But it's also got um, Netflix and YouTube and some other bits and bobs that once you've paid your 9.99 um, you can get and also don't forget it's got built-in internet in with that so you can use the internet at any time on the big screen just like you would your laptop or your big computer so that's all built in to this model 3 has been standard uh, the motorbike has been standard a, a while now on most of the tesla range but it was just a quick show let me grab the camera and i'll uh, take you around the back okay these rear lights now um, they do look a bit yellowy on them but they're not they're all red very very bright neon type red actually but they do look yellow through my lens here but hey ho they're a deep red the turn signals are larger sorry the turn signals are larger the reversing lights are larger everything's got bigger and brighter on the back end with these lights that's the LED turn signal, which is a lot better, a lot bigger, a lot brighter than the, the older ones were, definitely. Um, so that's one big thing with the 2022 models. The rear light clusters and the way they perform and how bright they are has been bettered by a long way. Okay, another thing that the 2022 model has got now, a standard, if you want to call it standard, because there's a lot of things on it. Let me just... Uh, as standard 
and again I'm only shooting through these things very quickly so you can see but the glass now and if you can see that is kind of like I'm gonna call it double glazed it's thicker and it's done for soundproofing the two fronts on this uh, are the rear again thumbs handles the rear is still standard maybe in the 2023 model or 24 he may chuck them in as well and make those also double glazed or more soundproof one big thing that again the 2022 has got now either from inside okay or from here is obviously what you saw in the light show and that's power up and of course power down on the trunk lid stroke boot lid boom another feature which is now standard on the 2022s these wheels are not standard these are the sport 19 inch optional um, over the uh, 18 standard with those horrible covers they reckon that these are quite well designed that you don't need them on the uh, on this particular model so the, the 19s are a good option to have and yes I, I do like them and I know some people say oh get them black no I'm keeping them silver don't know about the Tesla red calipers I'm not even sure if they are covers or genuine things I have no idea till I check them I would believe they are covers so don't know about that but hey, they came with it, so I'm happy bunny. Even got the original sticker still on the wheels. This thing's only done, well, when I got it, 4,000 miles, let's say. Let's round it off to 4,000. And it was registered very late, November 2021. So one of the first 2022 models. Built in China. I'm going to say that with no fear uh, at all, because this old dream about Teslas having bad panel fittings and... Oh, bits falling off and all the rest of it. That is now old hat. These Chinese made ones, and I know people are going to say it's Chinese, it's rubbish. Absolute nonsense. These Chinese ones, okay, I'm going to say this, and I know some people are not going to like it, have better build quality than the American ones. Now, you know, it's... Mm, it's going to be controversial me saying that but as i'm walking around this car the panel gaps are all excellent there's nothing that's wrong you know you can walk around it all and it's all level the doors are level you know and here look absolutely perfectly done it's and it's the same both sides okay so that is something else that is now better on the 2022 model and that is overall build quality especially the Chinese ones now I've not seen the German one um, from the Berlin factory I, I believe the German made one would be exceptional as well I'm hoping the American ones better now and I hope some of the technology that they use in China on the production line for this Tesla has been put over to the American made ones I don't know I'm hoping because I'm a big fan I'm very pro-American in my thoughts and my lifestyle so it would be great if they can compete but again, the ones are made in America purely for the American market. The ones made in China, I don't believe will make the American market. Maybe wrong there. I'll have to look into that. Comment below if you know different. So yeah, that's another thing. So on the 2022, build quality. Excellent. Even the interior, you know, let's have, a, let's have another look in here. Even the interior fittings, everything's nice and smooth and, and, and it's, you know, good, good finish on everything yes there's still a little bit of hard plastic on the bottom of the doors but I found that on near enough every car I looked at now moving on to another quick feature uh, and I'm only going around these very quick so you can know two phone charging points there um, wireless charging one either side passenger driver and all the stitching on on the on here as well is quite nice and all finished off on the seating very well so yeah all in all a bloody good thing quickly again let me shut the door i have got a rubber squeak here because it's so new still the rubbers are that tight on this glass i don't mind that uh moving on another feature cameras the sentry side of the thing some people have not been happy with the sentry mode on these teslas i i've, I've not used it a great deal yet i have it on a couple of times and the history as well that came with this on the actual sentry itself on the dash 
when you've got, let me get in and show you, on here, um, when the sentry mode's on, it records everything for you. You can go back and watch the history of the sentry. And it had this, this thing had a couple of nights in Handsworth, Birmingham, rough. Sorry if you're from there, but it's, it's rough. And there was a couple of times a couple of guys were looking around cars, looking inside them, like this, you know, saying, oh, what's in that car? And they got to this and the lights come on, it flashed. So the guy who owned this previous to me for the very short time, yeah, he probably stopped it from getting damaged or broken into. Who knows? So yes, these, get back to these, sorry. These are now uh, better cameras than the 19 to 21. They've done something to them, don't ask what they've done, but I know for sure they are better. E either the, they're a better quality or the software for them is better, but they have been bettered. I can assure you of that. Um, what else is there? Again, panel gaps. Look, absolutely perfection. No difference at all from side to side, you know? Anyway, move on. So what we've done then, we've got power trunk, we've got better lights, we've got better turn signals, better reversing. Um, obviously, on this side of it, if you're filling up, still all automatic. Still got the old little Tesla light that goes blue and then turns green when you're not charging. And if I come away from that now and leave it, that will shut on its own. That's a good old Tesla thing. I am surprised to not give you a bit of a, a more of a, a digital concept here. But I don't suppose there's need, any need to because it all comes up. There you go, look, it comes up now all comes up on the dash anyway you can see there look telling you how much you've got left in your battery etc etc that's it folks hope you've enjoyed this quick get together with me and my model 3 um, it's something I will be keeping for a, a fair while still got the emblems there you know still got the, the i3 shape but that's electric first dyno fuel second don't forget that folks don't forget that anyway that wraps this one up hope you enjoyed it like i said please subscribe if you've not already plenty more to do and see with this model 3 and anything electric car wise there'll be an electric car news coming up pretty soon as well number 10 i believe that is now um so stay with the channel and if you've not subscribed why where have you been I say this every time come and join us plenty to see on kk and ev family later